Yo, thank you, Smooth Willis. Thank you for the 32 months of support. Much appreciated. At tier 3, no less. Thank you so, so much. Much appreciated. Thank you. We're going to get it started in just a few moments, folks. We're getting started. Sand Blast! Thank you, uh, Minty Fresh Fun Time, for the resub, and thank you, Smooth Willis, for the resub. Hold, hold on tight, folks. We're getting set up. Stream's gonna go. Uh, stream's gonna be going in a moment. Sit tight, relax, chill, get some coffee.
All right, we're gonna get us up. We're gonna get set up real soon. Hey, cut the music. How about I roll the intro? How about it? Let's roll the intro. Hey, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and thank you for having fun with us today. It means a whole lot to me because this show isn't just for you. Is in part by you. It's thanks to your contributions in all of its form that I'm able to do all of this. So thank you. It is through your generosity and your support that the show keeps going and I keep having fun with it. Big thanks. And for those of you who don't know what it's about, uh, let me show you. I'm having coffee. Good intro. I've been doing this for almost, I've been streaming for almost three years. I'm out of ideas, okay? I've, I've used everything. I've used everything. I gotta start going crazy soon. Stimulants? Yes, I, I, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I see what you said. I, I get it, small male. I get it. Anyway, um, it is now. Resub Yo! Priggle with the resub. The prime sub. 23 months of support. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. All right. And thank you, Minty Fresh Fun Time and Smooth Willis, for uh, subbing before the intro. Hello, everybody. It is 3.15 p.m. here on the east coast of North America. Here in my neck of the woods. On the, uh, on the east coast. So. 
I, I guess in Europe it's it's nighttime, but I guess on the West Coast you're still eating lunch. So, but here it's it's you know I've had my lunch. I'm having some afternoon coffee. Today's a good day. It is Wednesday, May fifth, two thousand and twenty-three. Hopefully summer's coming soon. I'm sick of this crappy spring New England weather. It's still kind of cold. It's all rainy and nasty. It's all rainy and nasty. I want it to be nice and warm and sunny so I can wear, sh wear so I can wear t-shirts and I can go to the park and uh, and uh, do some photography. They always plant flowers in the parks here in Boston, and I get to like. I get to be a weirdo and get really close to the flowers and take photos with my camera. With my DSLR camera. And, uh... And I, I, I've i noticed that when I'm hunched over the flowers, it makes it so that other people can't enjoy them. So... <laughs> it, it is very satisfying for me as an artist and as a hater. Uh, it is uh, such a great hobby. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm like a bee? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, I'm haunting the flowers for myself. I mean, if you see a dude with a camera hunched over a flower, you know, they're doing- they're doing work! You know, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna look at it and be like, oh, how pretty. I'm- I'm doing work. Don't bother me. Get out of the way. I'm kidding. Um... But yeah, it's May 3rd. It's Wednesday. Hump day. Middle of the week. Hopefully you guys are go uh, are doing good. Hopefully you guys are keeping your head above water. Keep on keeping on, you know. And hopefully, hopefully no one's pouring water on you when you're when you're already in the thick of it. Anyway, today I'm playing uh, the Street Fighter 6 demo. So you know, I'm not like getting rich here, but. You know, I, I, I'm not getting rich here. You know, it's not like they're giving me like a billion dollars or like a million dollars. But the universe must love me or something. Like what happened? The universe must like, wh wh what's going on? Because, the, you know, this is like, and, 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 and it's been happening off stream too. It's been happening off stream too, where like, I want to, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll watch the Street Fighter 6 presentation. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that anyways. And they're, they're like, hey, that thing you want to do? Well, you can do it, but, um, you will pay you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and like I said, it's not like, you know, it's not like a huge paycheck, but it's like, you know, it's a Twitch bounty. It's like, a, you know, it's like 50 bucks or something. It's like, damn. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it, you know. So, billions both added again. Maybe someday, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was going to play the Street Fighter 6 demo anyway. And I noticed that there was a Twitch bounty for it, and so I might as well play it, you know, to, to play it. Now, this is a sponsored stream. So, um, unlike a normal stream, I'm going to beg and I'm going to grovel. Please, 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 please link this stream to your friends. Uh, you know, we need to hit like 80-something viewers before I get paid. So, <laughs> so... Um, you know, if we don't hit that number, it is what it is. I'm not gonna be too beat up about it. But I can't beg! I can't grovel! Please! 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 Link this stream to your friends, tell them to tune in, and we gotta hit- we- I wanna hit like 80-something viewers so we can get a payout. Um, cause that's how it works. This is- this is a- this is a sponsor- the, the way Twitch payouts work is there is a upper and lower limit to like how many viewers they expect out of you. But if you don't hit the viewer, if you don't hit the floor, you don't get any money. So, you know, if I get like 80 something viewers, then I'll be happy because, um, that means I get money for doing this stream. Otherwise, I just have all this sponsored crap for nothing. Anyway. Anyway. Please, 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 link, link this to your parents. Link this to your parents. 
parents, they remember Street Fighter, right? Your, your uncle knows what a Hadouken is. He, he, he tried to pick up chicks in the arcade when he was younger. You know, Miss Pac-Man, you remember that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, but before we start the, before we play the game, um, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I hope you guys are doing- Hey, legitimately though, jokes aside, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, you know, now that I- I hate school, well, I mean, school's about to wrap up soon. People are having their finals. I haven't been in- Oh my- Oh! Oh! I haven't- I- I just realized the sentence I was about to say. I haven't- I graduated college in 2016. I haven't been in college since 2016. I- th How long ago is that? Four? Seven- I haven't been in college in seven years, dude. Shit. I'm in a quarter system? We're in midterms? What the fuck? That's scary. I haven't been in school since 2014. I don't miss college, but I do miss the fact that, like, I do miss that, like, here's an institution where everyone is the same age as you, roughly, and you're forced to do stuff together. Now that I'm older, I wish there was, like, I don't know, something about that. I miss going to a pretty building every day, and eh, my school wasn't that pretty. It's probably way prettier now. When I went to my school, it was kind of bland. Every day was four meals of all-you-can-eat buffet? Insane. Yeah, that's the most dangerous part of college. Is, uh, is... You just get food. And you get it all the time. It's... <laughs> I was jacked. Yeah. Dude, we used to... I used to eat so... Dude, I used to eat so many cheesecakes. Slices of cheesecake and brownies. Oh, I... I can't go back to that. I can't go back to that. <laughs> Gained like 20 pounds freshman year, yeah. I, I think I did too. Um. My ex-girlfriend was like, please stop eating cookies and brownies and milk for breakfast every day. <laughs> Damn. Santa mode, yeah. Yeah, I think you're... You know, I'm glad they're your ex, cause, you know, they didn't appreciate you Santa maxing. <laughs> they were just, they were jealous. Yeah, exactly. Ex for a reason. I'm on the elf diet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Santa maxing. I'm becoming jolly. You know what? Listen, ladies. Go, ladies, you gotta stop going for the bad boys and go with the jolly guys, you know? The guys who eat a plate of, the, you know, if, if your man doesn't eat ribs and then rub his tummy and, and like, uh, has a jovial laugh afterwards, nuh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Picking my bitch up in a sleigh, yeah. How... How much horsepower uh, does your car have? Actually, reindeer. That's a good rebuttal. <laughs> oh yeah, the writer strike is happening. The writer strike is happening. I um, uh, I'm really excited about the writer strike. So I'm not, I don't work in Hollywood. I'm not a professional writer. Maybe one day. I would love to be a writer one day. I would love, absolutely love to like write for a comedy show one day. I think I would enjoy it very much. But until that day happens, I'm just on the outside looking in. But the writer's strike is happening right now. And I'm excited about it for two reasons. Number one, it's workers fighting for better rights and better conditions. So I hope they win and I hope they get a deal that, um, I hope they get a deal that, um, that, you know, treats them better. But number two, when I was a, when I was younger, 
when I was younger, um, you know, I realized that because this is not the first writer strike. For those of you who are younger, a writer strike happened back in I want to say like 2007, 2008. I think it was 2007. Um, and in the last writer strike, I remember as a kid, TV getting really, really, really weird. Um, and I really hope the same thing happens again. Because honestly, like, there's a lot of schadenfreude, and I think it's really awesome. So, um, a little history lesson. If, if, if the same thing happens, here's what you're going to be able to expect. Okay, here's a timeline. And I'm not talking about a timeline of the strike. I'm talking about a timeline of TV during the strike. Okay? The first thing that's going to happen is some shows will straight up go on hiatus and they'll just air reruns. These could be shows that you don't... Like, and a lot of these are shows that have, like, quick turnaround times. So, like, you know, shows that air daily... Um, that you don't think, that you wouldn't look at it and immediately go like, oh, that show has writers. I'm talking about like TV, like talk shows, not just late night talk shows where the host has a monologue. I mean like daytime talk shows, like The View. The View has a script, believe it or not. There's a script for The View that requires writers. So a lot of those shows are just going to straight up go on hiatus, Right? They're just going to straight up go on hiatus. They're not going to have, you know, they're just going to stop production and they're just going to air reruns. Um, some shows will have a backlog or like a buffer of scripts, right? So they'll be able to keep trudging along. And if the strike goes on for even later, the, if the strike goes on for even later, I want to say somewhere around two months, the, you know, somewhere around two months, right? If it goes for on for that long, that's when things, that's when shit gets weird. Because right around two marks, or, or two months, that's around the mark when two things happen. Number one, the shows that went on hiatus, they need to come back. They, like, they have to come back. Because they need to make money. They want to make money. Reruns don't make as much money, especially now when now that people have streaming services. Like, if you turn on your regular TV and you're like, "Oh, it's all reruns," fuck it, I might as well turn, I might as well go to go, turn on a streaming service and watch a show I want to watch, right? So reruns are gonna make them lose money. So they need to come back, right? But they're gonna come back with no writers. And number two. The shows that had a buffer of a script, these are your, like your narrative-driven shows, not like your talk shows. These are like shows that actually have a script and a plot and a narrative. That buffer is going to run thinner and thinner and thinner. And now, and both and and now that's when it gets really crazy because all shows need to they need to write scripts, but there's no script writers. So TV just gets stupid and bad. The last time this happened, I remember, this is how I know Conan O'Brien is actually funny. Because when this happened, every late night talk show host ate shit, except for Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien, credit to where credit is due, and he's a class act, by the way, because apparently he paid all the writers who were writing on strike out of pocket. So, I didn't even know that fact. He is, he's a real one. He paid for his writers who were currently striking out of his own pocket. And two, he actually kept his show funny. He kept his show funny. Like, he, he, his show was still funny during the fucking strike. And not only that, um, not only that, I, I, um, not only that, but I, I remember seeing that apparently Jay Leno tried to write his own monologue and people were telling him that it was like, and people were like booing him. Like, it was like, dude, this shit sucks. You suck. <laughs> so T if, if the same thing's about to happen, TV is going to get weird. I'm already hearing things like I, me and Scorpio are like cracking jokes about it. 
But, like, I've already heard real rumblings from, like, uh, Jim the Jimmy Fallon show and shit like that. Muchani, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the eight months of support. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, I'm already hearing stories. Like, I'm already hearing, like, stories about, like, the meetings that, like, Jimmy Fallon is having. Jimmy Fallon's gonna... <laughs> hey, the Jimmy Fallon show might be worth watching. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Real in two months, not immediately, but maybe in two months. Maybe in two months. It depends on whether they do uh, reruns again or not. Um, it depends on whether they do reruns again or not. Um, uh, and like, yeah, the last time this happened, the uh, does anyone remember the show Heroes? The Heroes was not a bad show. I remember watching it. I remember liking it. A lot of people liked it. And then the writer strike happened, and they ate shit because all the writers that wrote for because I, I saw a few people in chat talking about it. Season one of the show was good, and then season two, the writer strike happened, and it's like multiple main characters were trapped somewhere for a whole season doing nothing. <laughs> it was it was like it, the here the show heroes like got fucked up because of that show. So many shows got fucked up because of the writer's strike. The- because they just didn't know what to do. So I'm really hoping that- Really hoping that that happens again. Because like, what shows are even currently airing? I don't watch like- I don't watch too much TV nowadays. I definitely want to see how uh... I think- I think Seth Meyers is gonna do well. Seth Meyers seems like he's actually funny. Um, I bet, I bet, I get the feeling that he's gonna come out of this. He annoys me? Well, I don't think so. I'm not like the biggest Seth Meyers fan, but I get the feeling he's actually funny. You know, if he's got Connor O'Malley on his writing staff, he like, he knows what he's doing. I get the feeling he'll be okay. But Jimmy Fallon? Oh, man. <laughs> oh shit. Seth Myers is a conduit for actual humor and I and I appreciate that he acknowledges that. Yeah, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Seth Myers. But Seth Myers is like I don't know, anyone who's willing to give Connor O'Malley a job is like I think they got a good pulse on things. Oh yeah, Kimmel show? Oh my god. Jimmy Kimmel show. I forgot he's a late night talk show host. Man, what a trajectory. It's like, it's like, it's like, man, I, it's like, you take the man show and it's like yin and yang. You got Adam Carolla and Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel from that show. One one person gets to be a late one one per one gets to be one of the biggest late night talk show hosts and the other gets to like eat shit. <laughs> um Do not watch the man show. It's not even If what I remember of the man show is what it is, uh it is not even worth watching in like a Laughing at the past Schadenfreude way. I think the man show is just vile. I hope James Corden dies due to the writer's strike. Dude. Hey, I don't like James Corden, but James Corden literally retired right before the strike. I think it's because I get the feeling he bet. I, I think that I, thinking about it now, I'm 100% betting. Yeah, he knew. He knew. It was strategic. Absolute 100%. Because the writer's strike didn't just immediately happen. I think like, at, I think like months ago, there was already talk about it happening. I'm willing to bet that people got hurt, got wind of that. And it was like, oh no, James Corden is going to get crucified without a writing staff keeping him afloat. He is going to get crucified without a writing staff. Are you kidding me? So I think they're just like, hey. You know how you're going to retire? Just do it now. Because there's no way... There's no way in hell you're going to come out of this unscathed without writers keeping you afloat. 
I hope I hope I I hope the regular can I hope the regular viewer understands that there is an army of writers that keep these shows afloat. Like it is, you know, it takes an army of of staff, the actors, and the writers, um, you know, to to make the shows that we watch. Even the things that you wouldn't think of. Like, like, that's the, like, I didn't even realize that. I thought The View, I thought The View was like, what was I trying to say? I thought The View was just like, oh yeah, we'll, the, we'll let these old, so, like, C-list celebrities uh, go on TV and just babble. Like, I thought they just did that. But no, even like, even a show like The View has writers. You know what I mean? So, even the show, even a show like The View has writers. So, you know, definitely, definitely, definitely be appreciative of that. And uh, I, I don't know. If I was in California right now, I'd be driving through and honking my horn in support and shit like that. Um, but yeah, TV's about to get really interesting. Like, really, really interesting. I hope The View brings back Megan McCain. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. The third side effect of the strike is that writers who don't currently have work right now are going to get weird. And it's going to be either really bad or really good. Um, Really bad or really good. Um, I think, I think the... I, I didn't even put this together... Because I was a little young back then. But someone did point out that Josh Whedon came up with Dr. Horrible's sing-along blog during the writer strike. Because he wasn't working. So, you know, we're going to get some shit. <laughs> we're going to get some, we're going to get some shit. Because these writers are just going to be out here doing whatever. I work in a bookshop, so I hope we get more weird books. Is that really what happened? Did did a lot of TV show writers just start writing books? I mean, I can I can imagine that happening, right? Because you're a writer, you're a writer, so you gotta find work somehow. If you're not gonna get work from Hollywood and you don't want to be a scab, you gotta you know keep afloat somehow. I'm, that does not surprise me. Um. Oh. And, and, and uh, this, is the, this is the last point I want to make about the writer's strike that's happening. One, like, the, the, way that, the, the way that hires, that writers get hired, right, is it's almost like a, it's almost like a, it's, it's almost like a, 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 it's almost like a tenure kind of situation. Where the way it works is, let's say you have a show that is about to, like, let's say you have a show that, like, you know, you had a pot, you shot a pilot, the studio liked the pilot, and the studio has now ordered more, uh, more of the show. Like, they want to make the show real. And now you have a budget to hire writers. You hire a small group of super experienced writers. And then you hire kind of, like, your rank and file writers. And then, with every show, there tends to be, like, two to three slots, depending on the size of the show, two to three slots where they hire writers with zero experience, like, new writers, right? They hire new writers. And part of what they're fighting for, I think, ultimately, will allow for more new writers, which is a good thing, because as far as I... Like, a lot of people, like, as far as I know, you ha you kind of have to have rich parents to be a writer in Hollywood right now. Because, you know, you're not going to get paid shit if you have no experience. You know what I mean? So, you're not going to get paid shit. So, if you're already poor, you can't be a Hollywood writer. You can't afford to do that. Um, and... And so that's why all these stories suck is they're being written by rich kids that don't that haven't ever lived a life. <laughs> they went to art school and watched Korean people 
do uh do hard drugs they didn't they they they've you know they've never had a they've never <laughs> they've never they haven't lived they don't even walk anywhere they've ubered everywhere uh, you know they don't have the experiences necessary to to write good stories <laughs> That aren't about other rich people and doing drugs and shit. Fault. You should grow a Walter White beard. Uh, if I could, I would. But I'm Asian, so like... Imagine this, but a little darker. And that's like all I can manage. No, I don't have any chest hair or nothing. I'm a very body hair less person. Yeah, it's so awesome. All the content is produced by rich kids who can exclusively produce content like Velma. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So if, 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 a, if a side effect of this strike is that more poor people get to be Hollywood writers, then the world is only going to be better for it. Hey, okay. Uh, before I'm still not gonna play the Street Fighter yet, but I am gonna pivot to something fighting game related. Different company though. So, uh, shouts out Ranch Ninety Nine. Ranch Ninety Nine is a chain of Asian supermarkets. Shouts out. I'm Asian. I love I love going there. I love shopping there. And um, I was in the store. I was I was walking around Ranch Ninety Nine. And um. I came upon an entire aisle of of cross brand cross promotion drinks. Um there was like uh they had Sailor Moon sodas. They had or not Ranch 99, 99 Ranch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, they had Sailor Moon sodas. They had Digimon milk tea. I wanted the Patamon uh, milk tea, but it had too much sugar for me. Um, uh, what else did I see? Pokemon. But, I'm a fighting game fan. I'm a fighting game fan. So, these caught my eye. I didn't buy all of them, because I'm not, so there were five of them. They had Rio, Lime, uh, My Strawberry, um, uh, Orochi, Tangerine, uh, Iori Yaga Yagami, uh, lychee flavored, Terry, sea salt flavored, and what was the last one? Athena, uh, Athena, uh, what was it? Athena peach flavored. So I didn't get all the flavors because I'm not gonna lie, I don't like lime flavored sodas, I don't like, I don't like peach flavored anything, so I didn't get all of them. But I did try this one last night. This is the my. This is the my flavor. It's strawberry. You're fucked for hating peach shit. I like peaches. I hate peach flavored things. What about Elden Ring peach rings? I was gonna really eat those because they're Elden Ring. <laughs> um, so this is the my one. It's it's really weird because it isn't just King of Fighters. It's specifically I don't know if the camera is good enough to pick this up. But it isn't just King of Fighters. It's specifically King of Fighters 97. I don't know why it's King of Fighters 97. I don't know why they picked that version. Especially when there's a new King of Fighters came out. So I don't know why they picked that one. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 I don't know why they picked that game, but it is. So I had this one last night. Um, my, I had this one last night. It was pretty good. This one was strawberry flavored. Strawberries, like, I love strawberries. So I love strawberry flavored anything. Get your mind out of the gutter, small male. Um, this is just, uh, how do you say it? Because uh, I'm not Japanese. Ramune? Ramune? This is just Ramune. It, I mean, which it is soda. It technically is soda, but it means that it was very pleasant. It was not overbearingly sweet. Ramune? Okay, it's Ramune. Okay, there you go. But yeah, that means it's just really good. Um, it's not too sweet. Um, a very subtle sweetness. Very floral. 
Like, you know, well, I guess not floral. Very, like, strawberry. It's not Ramune? Hold up. Hold up. All right, you, you gringos better tell me how the fuck... How the fuck to say it. All right, I don't mislead you guys about Chinese words. Ramune? Okay. All right. Okay. So I, so I had it right. Oh, my God. You motherfuckers. It's, it's Rayman. Yeah, Rayman. Um. Anyway. Hey, it's... Hey, it's... Hey. It's, it's Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. You better not fuck with me, alright? I'm on the front page of Twitch right now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um... So yeah, I um I got a few flavors that I liked. The strawberry one, the Mai strawberry one was really good. I really like it. It wasn't anything to write home about. It was just Ramune. It was just strawberry Ramune. It, it, which means that it was good, but it was not like crazy, right? This is the one that I'm super interested in. This is the Terry Bogard flavor. And I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it's sea salt flavored. It's sea salt flavored. And I was like, I was not originally going to get it. I was like, ew. But then I remembered, oh wait, Kingdom Hearts. So I don't know what this is going to taste like, but I'm hoping it's going to taste good. Because, you know, Kingdom Hearts and the, and the sea salt ice cream, those fucking anime characters can't get enough of that shit. So maybe this is really good. All right. Terry Bogard himself sweat into every can. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't taste like sweat. All right. Oh, shit. I think this is going to be really... I think this is going to be really good. Because I'm smelling it. It, I think this is gonna be like sea salt ice cream. It smells like vanilla. It is, van it's like salty. It smells like, it smells like vanilla and salt. So I actually think it is just gonna taste like sea salt ice cream, like fucking Kingdom Hearts. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's vanilla. It's vanilla. It's like... It's not salty, thankfully. It's really interesting. It is vanilla. It is mostly vanilla. They should have called it vanilla. I don't know why they didn't call it vanilla. But it is... I, I, I guess because it's not 100% vanilla. Here. Let me, let me have another... Yeah, it's not unlike saltwater taffy. It's not unlike saltwater taffy. The main flavor is not salt. It, it's vanilla. But it's a very subtle vanilla. It's not like... It's not like you're drinking like a vanilla cream soda. It's like... it's The vanilla taste is very faint. And you get like some... Uh, you, you get like some like mildly salty aftertaste it's good i'm gonna finish it it's really good all right i've killed enough time i've killed enough time time to play this future Fighter 6 demo so um for those of you that haven't played the demo yet i actually saw some advice well it's a single player game so how much advice do you need but i actually saw some advice that it's like it is like a real it's like yakuza style so I'm not going to break out the fight stick or my hitbox or my snack box or anything. I'm actually going to use a pad because apparently it's like, it is like a, it's, it is like a third person Yakuza type game. Like you're going to, there's camera controls. So, um, I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to plug my pad in. We're going to play this on pad. So 
It forces modern controls for the first chapter too. Ew. That's gross. All right, we're gonna. All right, we're gonna set it up here. Okay. Oh, whoa. Ah. Come on. Here we go. Oh, I almost accidentally picked... Okay. I agree. Street Fighter 6. I... Right, for some reason it's running windowed. I want to change that before we get going. A lot of people are saying that modern controls might be, like, suspiciously... Uh, might be suspiciously good. I I don't know. I don't know if anyone's gonna uh, use it. Uh, how do I turn on the? How do I turn on full screen mode? There we go. All right. I'm gonna start the Twitch bounty. Subscriber. Hello, Balp and Chat. Uh, I'll thank you in a moment. Ah, I'm typing something. Miles McSmiles, thank you for the gift sub. Or sorry, sorry, not the gift sub. Thank you for the resub. All right, time to play this game. So this demo is there's a very there is a very very limited versus mode. We're not gonna even bother. We're not gonna even bother. We're just gonna play the game. Street Fighter 6 is out on your birthday? Uh Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Let's keep it simple. I wanna be strong. Can you believe it? We got self-driving cars. The time's coming, we'll be taking rockets to Mars. And yet you still got folks out there using their fists and bodies to seek strength. Yeah, I hear you, man. We're all a bunch of fools. But, you know, if you want to know about strength, you just got to get to it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets. settings in a bit because it's not lagging is this something's like <sighs> hmm? you money recruit kids shader comp yeah oh god welcome this is buckler security services i'm luke the coach around you 
You're here for basic training, right? Okay, let's get you measured up. I'm gonna check the settings real quick. Body size and your reach are all factors in a fight. Uh, so check everything carefully. I guess I have to make so my character first. Me? Gotcha. All right, here we go. When it comes to athletic ability, men and women fight on equal footing. Remember that. I love that this is. <laughs> what? A... What's what's your gender? Human. All right. Hold on. Oh, you get oh. Well, I have an idea. Already done. <laughs> I love that one of the. I love that one of the. Uh, what the one of the presets is Akuma type. Oh, you can be a robot. Jack Oh I mean I can't not be a Kuma, right? Big bodies can get hit more often. <laughs> they also hit back easy. Tiny Akuma is just so funny. <laughs> Hold on, should Tiny Akuma still be buff or should he be kind of... Oh god. Skinny? Yeah, I gotta Yeah, I gotta like him as thin as possible. <laughs> oh my god. Is there like a reset? Big head is really good. Oh, okay. So it's like, right. Your body actually matters. So like, whoa, you can adjust so much. Dude, people are gonna make some art. Right. You guys said reach matters, right? <laughs> you guys said reach matters, right? Oh, I guess I can't make my legs longer. Oh! <laughs> That's still not much. Alright. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Soft? Hold on, I wanna see him shredded. Alright, it's still- I guess it's not much of a difference because I'm- We're gonna go saw. I don't want to mess around too much because we actually have to play the game. 
so I wonder if I can change the clothing. Okay. Let me hear those vocal cords. Hope your doc's on. Let's do this then. Gotta give it my all. No sense holding. You wanna go? Don't be in such a hurry. No sense holding back. Gotta give it my all. Hold on, can I put the symbol on my back? Yeah, can you put a... Oh, I guess I'd have to take this clothing off first, right? Tattoo it? Yeah, hold on. Oh, he has it by default! Yeah, this is how we do <laughs> He has it by default! That's awesome! <laughs> Alright, well... I think we're done. Can't forget your name either. That's important. Oh. Well, how come I can't? All right. Give me your Sunday best. Oh yeah. I hate trying to take photos for my ID. I always end up with something weird. Alright, hello? Is that- the game- I think my game- I think- Man, maybe my rig isn't as good as I thought, cause it's like loading something. It's loading something. <clears throat> oh wait. Oh, I have to confirm. <laughs> yeah, gotta say, you're photogenic. Oh, righty, well, that should about wrap up your enrollment. Again, you can call me Luke, or just coach. Okay then, hope you're ready to begin. First, let's go over the basics. <clears throat> uh, yeah, why not? Start by making it over to where I am. Feel free to walk. Oh, this is like a tutorial of like. Okay, it's a tutorial of the. Anyway, move. All right. Some panels. I want you to pass through every lock. Can I skip the tutorial? Yeah, this is like a sing. This is like a third-person action. Like not an action game. This is like a third-person Yakuza type game. So I'm glad I'm paying this on pad. Right. It forces you to into modern controls. Right, we're doing modern controls. So that's like one button special. Light, medium, heavy, special. Complete. That's it. Yeah, one button specials and then like light, medium, heavy. Oh my god, he really- I, I really made like Gibbon Akuma. Okay. Okay, so you just do like...
Covers the basics. Kind of boring, right? <laughs> I knew it. That's how the basics are. Oh, wait. I skipped the cutscene. Shit. I didn't think it introduced this guy. Right. Isn't that. Hold on. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird. This is so weird to me because. Oh my god, I'm, I'm like expected to do like kicks and I'm not. How, how do I kick? Oh, what? gonna be the type to jump before you think but coach that was the kind of situation I want to learn to deal with <laughs> you're not here to punch bags either right hmm. ah right this is Bosch he signed up with the same regimen you are this guy is definitely gonna be like a, this guy is gonna be a playable character like for real, like at the end of like Street Fighter oh, 6's you know lifespan, they're definitely gonna do at that. The same time, so play nice, okay? Ugh. Coach, we both came here looking for strength. If both of us are trying to find that strength, sooner or later, one of us is going to get there first. What happens to the other person then? We all know that nobody's going to be friends after that, so why bother pretending? Wow, well, he's got like a Riku situation going on. That's a really tough question. You gotta know what strength means to you before you go looking for it. <laughs> you go looking for the wrong things, and you really might end up in that situation someday. But you know what? You can cross that bridge when you get to it. You two are still my plucky little trainees. Listen to what your coach says, and put your hearts into your training. Focus on that. Back to business. You wanted something more practical, right? Well, practicality comes in many forms. But if you want to start off on the right foot in this city. Hit the streets. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is light, yeah. Oh, I don't think I took my vitamin D pool yet today. I gotta do that. Before I forget. So this is a game just loading anyways. What I love about this game is like... You guys know the intro to, um... You guys know the intro to, like, the Street Fighter 2 cabinet? Where the guy, like, punches the other guy? It's like they took that one cutscene, and they expanded it into, like, what Metro City looks like. Everyone in Metro City just fights.
Yeah, this is like so much like Yakuza. But I really like this. Um. Go. Oh, we got phone? How do I take out my phone? I'm gonna text from Luke! <laughs> I don't know why I think this is so funny. I love the idea that like you're getting texts from Luke. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> these Street Fighter characters are texting you, bro. Oh, we have missions. Talk to Alice. Alright, so we- hmm. Hey. Yo! Rodent infestation! Thank you for the two gift subs. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Oh, we got candy. We got can- <laughs> we have candy! Okay, so we can change our phone. I'm gonna fight that guy. I guess I can't yet. Why, hello there. Um, mm, right. <laughs> okay. So is there any way to turn it into... Is there any way to turn on classic controls? Or do I have to do the modern control scheme? Not for chapter one? Okay. How, how the hell does this... What? That doesn't combo? Maybe my arm reach. I th isn't my arm reach maximum? I guess I'm so short. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so we can just fight people. Hold on. Who do, who do we want to fight, chat? Who do we want to fight? Steve? You want to fight Steve? Yo, Steve's level two. We can fight Steve. Oh, shit! I see you unlock Long Akuma. Alright. Alright, who do we want who do we want to fight? Oh, let's try fighting this guy. He got fire powers. Oh shit! Ooh, guy! Oh my god, I don't do sh I don't do enough damage right now. 
Oh. Oh! Oh! Always the third. Oh! Alright, we got this. Yeah, we got this. Oh! Oh! Oh, what? What? Oh, what the fuck? I've been playing KOF. Come here. Come here. Oh my god, that combo doesn't work on- I mean, my arms are too short! No, I'm gonna commit. I'm gonna commit. Cause the fact that my DP doesn't even combo with the second hit of that thing might be a little problematic. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, well, how do I level up? Okay. Huh. Okay. So I have DP and then Flash Knuckle. Having DP sounds good. Wait. So wait, uh, do I have... Wait, don't I have both of these already? I have Mo Luke's move set, right? Okay, so th these are the two I have. Okay. Uh, sure. I'm gonna, this might be a little problematic. I might have to like, I might have to like make my, but my arms are max. I guess it's, I, I think it's because I'm so short. I'm I'm too short. Okay, so we know how to fight people now. Yo, Rodent Infestation, thank you for the sub. Whoa, wait a minute. You subbed for three months, like, ahead of time. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's awesome. Okay, so, so different enemies have like pre-programmed things. Like this guy will always break throws. Like you can't throw him. That's interesting. That's a good, 
You know. You know, I actually kind of like this because, like, modern controls are kind of, like, doo-doo. I don't like them. But this is, like, going to teach you... This is a really natural way to teach someone fighting game fundamentals. Right? Because I'm not, like... I'm beating these people not because I, like, am mashing or because, like, it's the level thing. I'm beating these people handily because I have good fighting game fundamentals. But if you don't have those fundamentals, I get the feeling that this mode would actually be pretty good at teaching you that stuff, right? Like jumping over fireballs and stuff. What can I get you? Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? Green pizza? I, I want pepperoni pizza and stuff. Thanks for stopping by. I wanna... Hold on. Oh, look at this binging with Babbage type motherfucker. I wanna... Come on. You wanna go? You wanna go, huh? You wanna go? You think you're better than me? You think, huh? Oh, what? a lot. <laughs> hey, I think this game might be awesome. Oh, you are, Oh, what the f- Where do you think you're going, binging with Babish? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. That's right, that's right, binging with Babish. Oh, I love that they're special enemies, like, my... modern controls. I'm gonna turn them off the first chance I get. It's because I actually know how to play fighting games, so like it's like messing me up too much to like... Oh, we're gonna save our points. It's like messing me up too much to um... Yeah, this game's awesome! <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, right, you wanna fight? Oh, what?
This is... This is someone's dream. A version of New York where we're allowed to beat anyone up and every, people are just like, wow, you're awesome. Hold on. Oh, this guy, special enemy. Oh, what? I called it too. I didn't fucking, I didn't fucking get it. Man, okay, I need to like adjust my body size because like it's, I'm gonna run into problems being this short. A little Akuma taller. I need to make him taller. Ah, that's right. Hey. Can I make myself taller in here? I. These characters. Howdy. Hey. Hmm. Uh huh. Ah. The brothers cock. The boner brothers. Yeah. Okay. So these are like the bad bad guys. That they'll actually attack you. The apparel store, eh? No. Luke wouldn't type this well, no. He would be, uh, his, uh, he would be, it would be full of typos and, like, it'd be full of typos, spelling mistakes, he'd fat finger keys. What? Yo, why'd you make that sound, bro? Oh, yeah. You think that's gonna work on me? That's right, don't don't even look at me! <laughs> this game is <laughs> This game's awesome. Oh shit. Wait, do I have to buy this hat? It's the only thing available, alright. Right, so you can get gear. How do I adjust?
just my body size. I actually want to make my character taller because there's like a there's like a there's like a three hit. It's like a combo where it's like there's like an auto combo that's like three hits and then DP, but like I can't even do that. I can't even do the th I like Akuma. Little Akuma is too short to even do that. Yo, a, a tourist? You guys Taurus? I hate Taurus! Oh, she has like a Buki's air, air knife! That's why I think of Taurus around here. Um, yeah, if you guys know where to adjust my character's height, please tell me. Oh, wait, I can probably pull up a map, can I? Body shops. Okay, there is a body. Oh, I haven't found one yet, though. Yo, Scorpio, you like my character? Scorpio, I think you'd really like this game. No joke, Scorpy, you should get Street Fighter 6 for like the single player mode. I think, Scorpy, I think you'd really like this game. It's like, this is really fun. Here, let me, let me. Oh. This is just the demo though. Alright. Let me, let me wander off the beaten path. It hasn't taught me how to... Can I hit stuff yet? Oh no, I don't have that. It's, it hasn't taught me how to do that yet. This looks like Yakuza. You're- yes, you're not wrong, Scorpy, but at the same time... Check this out. What? What? What's your problem, man? What? what what's wrong? You wanna fight? You wanna fight? You wanna fight, bro? Oh, he actually got a fucking hit on me. He's okay. What's up? Can you see other players? No, this is a single player, but it's like an open world kind of like Yakuza style type game. It's legitimately really fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Um. And the fact that this comes with a Street Fighter game that I was already gonna play is like great. Hold up, hold up. All right. Oh shit! He has got real moves. Damn it. Are you playing with an Xbox controller? I'm playing with PS4. I have this on Steam. I'm playing with this PS, uh, PS4 pad. It just isn't showing up with the right logos. So... You two check out the city, see the sights, rack up some wins. And then you come back with the confidence to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your lovable coach. 
I guess that practical training paid off in spades. Am I right? If you want to make it in this world, you gotta do what you can. Grind like crazy. Not let up. Not for a second. The road to the top is long, but you just gotta take it one step at a time. Bro, I already play Path of Exile. I like how Luke made us buy these shitty baseball caps and then fought us. That what a great coach! Just now, it's something to be proud of. Man, you two are great students. <laughs> Okay. Ah, okay. So now I can do the things. Huh. You know what? You make a darn good team. I don't think it'd be the worst thing for you two to take on the world together. Together? Absolutely. Do some training like we did at the gym and around Metro City. Then, the two of you can go and travel the world. You can really get to know each other. And take on all comers. Seriously, you'll have a blast. I can't not see it anymore. Where I'm sorry, Trog, I, it, I remember it was like Trog or Log. I'm strong and I need to be it now. I'm not Trog like or Log you. said that Luke... Bosh, come on, coach. I'm done with the course. I got things I need to take care of. But you're right. This did give me some confidence. Thank you. Our only fight ended in a draw. Wish we could have had a rematch. The, I, um, what was I going to say? Someone, either it was either Trog or Log that said Luke has the Whataburger logo tattooed on his chest. I can't unsee it now. God. <laughs> A true American, yeah. How can I put this? Moving on. Ah, right. All right. Okay, so yeah, I have... So now... Yes, so now we can use this stuff in the open world. Oh, I only have the uppercut. But I, I that means I can do this now. I'm too short. I'm so short. 
I gotta make myself taller so my co I can end, end my combo with DP. Is there a shop where I can change the way I look? Hold on, we gotta find the shop that... That combo doesn't work on normal Luke either? Really? So it's not my height. It's it's just that combo is whack. Hold on, let me test it. Right? Because like... Yeah, what? Yeah, look, I can't... Look. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. That's what I'll do from now on. the most out of this demo as, po as I possibly can, so... Not yet. Wow, that was the demo? That was it? I mean, I had fun, but wow. That was a lot shorter than I thought. Alright. I think it saves your progress. Well, I don't really care about that. Because I barely got to play. I thought the demo would be a bit longer, but it's okay. All right, let's try to do this, because I, I... Oh, I can skip this? How? Paying attention. I want to try fighting the, uh, I want to try fighting the CPU. Apparently the max level CPU is actually like really hard. Oops. Throw loops are real in this game and they're scary? Yeah, why do you think I was using them in single player? Come <laughs> on. 
hate that he says beast mode. Skip this. Can I like skip this? Oh wait. Hold on. Drive parry. What is it on path? Y and B? Just quit? Oh, okay. Ah, here we go. Alright, I'm actually gonna plug my pa uh, my uh, hitbox, or not, my snackbox micro in for this. So I'm actually gonna plug my snackbox micro in for this, because I wanna play- I wanna try- I wanna try beating the, the like, legit CPU. And I want to- I need to do it on a real controller if I'm doing that. <laughs> Training, just tutorials and character guides. Oh my god, this screen! Hold on. playing this on this, so that's my excuse, but I'll keep trying. Oh, that feels good. It's very... Oh, the 
CPU is... You can do your taxes between Tekken 7 matches, yeah. Instant rematch is nice. combo to do. Medium punch, medium punch, medium punch, medium punch is a combo? Really? On Luke? I have never played Luke at all in any in any game. Oh my god, you only get two. Shit. I didn't realize that. You only get two. Fighting ground. One on one. Gimme temple. Oh, it's like handicap. We'll keep it at four. I just want to hit buttons and try stuff. I'm ready for a fight when it's on its own. I'm charging like a bull when it's on its own. Oh wait, 
I'm using fucking. Ah. It defaults to dy It defaults to Do you have to change it every time? I guess so. in this game. His round start EX Fireball. I 
Let me bump the AI a little bit. Thinking I should pump the AI up a little bit more. Not that. That's cruel. What do you mean cruel? This is the this is the game. This is Street Fighter. Oh wow. Let's change it in the settings so I don't have to redo the settings over and over again. I want to play this mode a little bit longer and then maybe switch to something else. Are you playing on PS4 or PS5? I'm playing on PC. Uh, settings. Ah, here we go. Oh wait! I didn't uh I didn't change it I didn't bump up the level up higher. Let's bump it up to seven! Give him full advantage? No, advantage is, um... Advantage is like, cheater mode. Like, they start with meter and shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh! I keep thinking like Tekken rules where Lowe's will beat that, but Lowe's don't do shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. These shits are hard! Oh, fuck me. There's so much of Street Fighter 6 that I forgot. Because I haven't played the demo in a long time. Real wins. Round 
Oh my god.
Get me the fuck out of here! Grab him! Grab beats that, right? I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. If I'm gonna keep using this thing, that is something that I have to get better about. I can't do DP on player two side. <laughs> or player on player uh, yeah. So the cool thing about Ryu is that because you can charge his fireballs, fireball wars against them are really scary because you know he can beat them for free. Oh fuck, what am I doing? What am I doing? Ah! Sandblast with the same command for a special that beats fireballs? The AI is really sharp. Even at level 6, the AI is already kicking my ass and is like really sharp. Do EX Sandblast twice? I'll try it. I'm playing on a leverless controller. I'm playing on a leverless controller. There already is a shortcut I'm aware of. I'd have to like think to do it. Oh, I didn't know 
Luke had that. I didn't know Luke had that. I'm using a snack box micro. Sometimes. Oh, that would have been a combo. fighting games for a while so like i have good intuition about when to do what but i just don't know any street fighter stuff if that makes sense like i have good intuition about like when things are ha like about what about what to do and where 
right? But like, I, I can't, I don't know any combos or anything. Cause I, you have fundamentals, yeah. Like I play a lot of Tekken, I play a little bit of Guilty Gear Strive. I've been, I've been messing around with more KOF. Alright, let's set this up. Let's set this to seven. See how we do. And then after this, I might. How long have I been streaming for? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh wow, he didn't go for it. Man, that's evil. Oh my god. Oh, he did EX Oh no. Oh no. Oh, missing one. No. Real wins. Round one. Oh, right. I forgot he had. with the throws. Like, they will not let up. Oh my god! Let me out! 
Oh my god! I want to play a little bit more. This is ah, uh, this is genuinely really fun. I just want to play the full game. God damn it! Let me play the full game. All right, I'll do one more. One on one. Give me the tempo. All right, let's get it. All right. Using a uh, medium fireball and it doesn't reach is because I've been playing KOF and KOF is a four button game. I have to remember that. Oh, he hasn't even used it yet. Fight! 
Oh, that still hit me! Shit, you don't have to be close to the- Oh my god. The uh... Yeah, the AI is brutal. Uh, I wish there was a trading mode. Oh wait, there's trials. There's the character. Oh my god. I wonder what this is. Oh. So this just talks about the character. Time, and then I want to take a break and do something else. Alright, let's get it! Alright, I'm ready! Let's start it from the bottom and I'll never look back! Yeah! Yeah! Look at all my haters, y'all making them mad! I don't care too much about trying to mess with this game, because, like, the game's gonna come out soon. I got patience. AI. If you got someone, if you got, if you throw someone, they're gonna be scared. You should just do your, you should just wait for them and then do your fucking like rage drive. Oh what? Dude, get off my ass! Afraid of yet. That's like not something I like am am like aware enough to be afraid of yet. That like raid drive, if I'm in the corner, I can't feel too safe in the corner. Oh.
god. You can play this game with the farm. Street Fighter 6 here. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick break. Let me turn the game off. And, uh... Turn the game off. That gives me a lot of hope. Because I kind of haven't touched the, like... It's been a while since I got to play in the open demo. So, like... The fact that, like, game is good... Yeah, the game is real fucking good. <laughs> The game's really fucking good. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of picky. Like, I've come to realize I'm kind of picky when it comes to fighting games. And there's a lot of fighting games. They're not bad games. They have their audiences. But, like, you know, it takes me a few tries before I find something really fun about about them that, I, that makes me really want to try them. Street Fighter VI, it's kind of crazy how, like, you boot up Street Fighter VI... And it's got, it's so dripping with style that, like, you want to play it. It's a good game. It's a good game. Like, it, it, like, you know, so, like, for example, like, I'm, I'm, I'm messing around with, uh, in my free time, if I'm, in, in my free, I'm still playing Tekken, but in my free time, I'm playing a lot of KOF. I want to play KOF. Um, because King of Fighters is pretty fun, right? But it took me, like, three tries to, to like, really want to stick with KOF, you know? But with Street Fighter VI, it was, like, instant. Like, the first time I got to, like, try... I got into the I got into the closed beta, right? And, like, I was like, okay, I don't know. After Street Fighter V, they got to convince me to play this game. It took, like, two seconds. <laughs> it took... It took two... It did not take much convincing. You know, the game is just, like... It's like, okay, this game wants you to play. It, it's like... You know, I got my ass beat by the level 7 Ryu AI. And I'm like, wow, this shit's fun. It's a... It's it's a game that really wants you to play. Which, you know... I'm a, I like fighting games, but it's really... It... I like fighting games, but as much as I like fighting games, I will admit that fighting games as a genre is not very good at making you want to play those games. I really hope that other fighting game developers take a page from Capcom. Like, I don't know what exactly... Like, I can't really even put it to words. I'm not as eloquent. I wish I was more eloquent. But there's something about Street Fighter VI that, like, you turn it on and you're like, wow. I want to, you know, like, okay, I want to play this game. I hope Street Fighter 6 does what Street Fighter 4 did over a decade ago. I get the feeling even more so. I don't know what possessed them to make a real video game this time. I know! I know! I mean, they want money. That's They want money, and I think Street Fighter 5 really did leave a bad taste in their mouths. Because Street Fighter 5 is good. But, like, the people who are really into Street Fighter 5 were, like, really already into Street Fighter 4. You know what I mean? Whereas I think with Street Fighter 6, it's like, it's like, whoa, you know, you like, you turn it on, like, even the demo, you like, you turn it on, it's like, wow, this is like refreshing to play. It makes all the other fighting games that I play right now, like, I'm a Tekken fan, and I'm not gonna lie, it, it like, it, playing Street Fighter 6 feels like a fun video game, and playing Tekken 7 feels like, here's a, here's a fighting game I like. It's not just the style. There's, like, something about the game that, like, really beckons you to want to play it. You know what I mean? 
Like, even just trying the demo out, I'm like, damn, I... Like, the reason why I was looking for a training mode was because I was like, alright, I, I, like, actually want to learn a Luke combo so I could try to learn to play and win and try to beat the bot. Like, there's something about it that's just, like, really captivating. Um... It is dripping with style. That definitely helps. But, like... Yeah, the presentation... It feels good. It feels good to play. Like... I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm also kind of biased. I, I hope... I also get the feeling I'm biased. Because I do play fighting games, right? Like, this is not my first rodeo. So I can definitely go and look at it and be like, Wow, this is so dope. But hopefully, uh, people with no fighting game experience can do the same thing because that'd be really cool right like i like i played tekken i played a little bit of guilty gear strive a little bit of older street i like i i like you know and now i'm trying to like play a little bit of like kof because I, I think kof looks cool too but i'm chinese so <laughs> there's there might also be another kind of bias there you know of course of course that of course the chinese guy is gonna think kof looks cool um but, you know, I, I think, like, I don't know. I think it's just, I think it's going to be really fun. There's something really compelling about playing the game. Like, I'm not even afraid to admit it. Like, over, like, I love Tekken, but, like, Tekken 7, I hope Tekken 8 is, I hope Tekken 8 makes people feel the same way. But Tekken 7 is, like, feels, maybe it's just been, maybe it's just also because I've been playing these games for so long, but Tekken 7 is, like, stale compared to Tekken, uh, to Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 is, like, whew, a breath of fresh air. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go to BRB. And when I come back, um, more fun after this. I think, I think I want to play more Crab Champions. I think I'm gonna play more Crab Champions. Because that game was really fun. I'm gonna mess around a little bit with that, and then we'll, uh, and then I'll be back. But uh, and then and then we're gonna wrap up. Okay, BRB, bye bye. I'll be back. I'm in LDLI. LDLI. I'm a Larry David like individual. What was the last Larry David thing that happened to me? The last Larry David thing that happened to me was the corn dog thing. Yeah, definitely. It was the corn dog thing. That was weird. I, I, if you guys weren't here, um, if you guys weren't here, so a few weeks, I think like two weeks ago, I went and I got corn dogs. I went and got corn dogs. And you know, you know, uh, businesses here are still like have altered rules, have altered, you know, rules because of the quarantine. So I go into this, I go into this Korean restaurant because it's Korean corn dogs, and I and I'm like, yo, let me get some corn dogs. And they're like, sorry, you have to order online. Which, first things first, I'm already standing right in front of you. I can't put in my order, like, now? They're like, no. You either order online or order on phone. So I go... So I go outside. And I'm like... I'm, I go outside, and it's like a very Larry David-esque situation. Because I'm outside, I'm literally staring through the window at the woman at the counter, at the register, who told me I can't put in an order unless it's through the internet or through the phone. I'm on my cell phone, standing outside. And I'm looking at her, and I'm like, Hello? I'd like to put in an order. And I can see her pick up the phone and go, You know, hi? Okay, an order? Two corn dogs? Okay. And I go like, yeah. And then she goes, She's like looking at me through the window. And I'm like, can I, can, and she's like, is this delivery or pickup? And I'm staring at her. I'm like making eye contact and I'm like, pickup. 
I'll pay. And then she's like, are you paying in cash or card? I said, cash. And it's like, what? What? Uh, uh, like, I was wearing a mask. Like, I was wearing a mask. She was wearing a mask. There was enough. It was a kind of a small restaurant. But there was clearly... There was clearly enough space where we could be more than six feet apart from each other. Let me order... Let me order... The... Let me order the food! I don't know. It was cr It was weird. It was such a stupid situation. Here's the thing, I think it was one of those situations where, who, like, whoever her boss was, her boss was like, listen, during quarantine, we're only accepting orders through phone and internet. Like, online orders and phone orders only. So she was probably like, alright boss, got it. And she herself didn't realize how dumb that rule would be. Um... If someone physically walked into the restaurant to put in an order until I showed up. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah, probably she probably didn't have a choice, but still. I mean I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. I got my corn dogs though. They were good. I'll definitely be going back. Or more corn dogs. That was my last Larry David situation that I was in. The corn dogs were worth it? They were absolutely worth it. They were good. Any nightmares? Uh, not last night. Hello, I'm back. Hello. Uh, let's boot up Crab Champions. Corn dogs. I haven't had a corn dog in a while. I don't know why. I should change that. I should change that. Alright, we're gonna play Crab Champions now. Crab Champions, not a fighting game. Very different game than Street Fighter 6, but uh should still be good. Did I change my settings yet? Yes, I did. Ah! I don't know, where's the game? Resubscriber. Can't think of anything funny to write here anymore. Hi though. Hello. Smiles. Thank you, Lonnie Ratworld, for the 26 months of support. Much appreciated. Thank you. I took a lot of damage for that. Yeah, we're playing Crab Champions. This game is dope. I think I want this. But yeah, this is just like...
This is just like Squid Game? Yeah. Oh, I don't want any of these. I'll try this out. Who knows? Oh, okay, it's not much of a delay. Spread and recoil heavily reduced. I actually want more. I think I have to get more HP. I can't be I I I can't be too brave. for any of these. I'll take this and we'll try to go for some crit damage later. No, this isn't a battle royale. This is like a... Alright, so this is a game that came out recently. It's made by the person who made Crab, uh, Crab Rave, literally. I don't know what compelled them to make a video game, but it's pretty dope. Oh god, I'm losing so much health. Um, this game's pretty fun. It's like a, you know, it's, I'm eating shit, oh my god. But it's a, uh, it's just kind of like an arena, like a roguelike arena type game. I am about to die, that's not cool. But it's like, it feels good. You can run really fast, you're a crab, everything else is bugs or crabs or shit. Oh god. But 
but yeah, this game is not like, it's just a run based, uh, I need this. It's just a run based, uh, a run based roguelike arena shooter thingy. I'm not healing after every kill. This thing is not working as advertised. Okay. Oh, is it only melee kills? Oh, no. Alright, that's better than nothing. Oh, there goes most of my health. Damn it. Alright, that run was bad anyways. Alright, this weapon's kinda tricky to use, but I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it one more try. Oh, uh, it was melee kills only, okay. pretty fun too as which is not surprising After killing people seems important. Another spike chest? I don't know if we can I don't know if we can. Wait, what? I'm allergic to- you're allergic to peanuts now? Oh, that sucks. It's not the end of the world, but... It definitely also isn't fun, I'm sorry. Oh, there goes my flawless, I got hit. Who was this? Oh wait, no, it worked. I have double health now. Let me tell you something. I haven't had peanut butter in years. You can live without it. You'll be fine.
I hate these crabs. You just got a cassette for what? I have a cassette player now, so I'm gonna start collecting cassettes too. Cause it turns out they're not that expensive. Compared to vinyl, absolutely not. Funk Remix album from Cyan Blue. Ignite nearby enemies when bursting. Yeah, I literally found my cassette player like cleaning. Like, doing spring cleaning. My mom was like, oh, we have an old cassette player that I think your cousin left uh, when he was living with us. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I, you know, I did like a double take. I was like, oh shit, let me have that. And you're like, what? Why do you want this? Adults don't get it. They don't know that it's in. They don't get that it's cool again. Been into softshell crab, and if you have, has it made you feel closer to your caveman ancestors? Softshell crab is so good, it's literally one of my favorite foods. I love crab, and I love softshell crab even more because there's no cr shell to deal with. Now you want some crab? Ah! Out of all streams to make people hungry, I didn't think it'd be this one.
Oh, I'm gonna free stuff? Oh. Alright, I'm not gonna mess around anymore. Alright, what do you want out of this stuff? I'm gonna get that and then we're gonna head out. Time to fight the boss! Crab cakes? But they were made with fake crab? Aww. Oh. imitation crab I'm not gonna lie like I know it's supposed to be fake crab I know it's not you know I know I could be eating better stuff but like part of me is like eh, it still tastes good you know I mean it does A lot, so I'm actually gonna take this. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell is happening? I can't tell who, which ones are mine and which ones are theirs. I want that, no hesitation. Okay, my build is really strong. This is the one. This is the one. I'm like... strong. I think this build might be a little, might be strong. Uh, chance to not use ammo while firing. I actually want that, I think. Because I actually get a lot of benefits from firing my weapon. Ah, we can't afford this.
That seems really useful. Right, I'm good on health, so I'm gonna go for more damage. Set is gonna kill me. No. What? I wasn't anywhere near it. Oh god. Well. <laughs> I got too co I got too cocky, I guess. All right, I need a health chest now. Hello? Oh, thank God. Give me that health. How was Street Fighter 6? The Street Fighter 6 demo was really fun, and uh, I was really happy to have played it, basically. Oh shit! I need a kill. Yeah, this build is strong. I just, I just am not actually invincible. I gotta be more careful. But as long as, like, there's enough enemies, I should have enough health to, like, you know. Alright, I'm not gonna fuck around. 
Like, I already knew I was gonna get Street Fighter 6, you know? Like, I knew- I already knew I wanted it, but now it's like, you know, now I definitely want it. There's only one. So as long as I keep moving and I don't sit still, I should be okay. Because the only real danger is like I get frozen and he hits me. And we already got the boss to half health, so I think I'm... Aura. Oh, I want to heal even more after killing enemies. That sounds really good. Yeah, it's like a roguelike, so you just keep going until you can. Damage increased for each perk level that you have. Uh, I actually want this, I think. Oh, I'm not man enough to do that one. Also because I actually want this one. If I can get reload speed, uh, I'll be even stronger. Cause I want as I want as little downtime on firing my weapon as I can. Let's see. Reload speed increase. That's the one I want. Yeah, reload speed. I'm so I'm good on health. But yeah, this is a very this is very much an eye flasher. This is an eye flashing game. You know, you look at this game and your eyes just kind of go. You know, you just kind of see colors, but it's cool. Oh shit. Chance to get an additional reward of trust after clearing each island. I don't think I need that though. Yeah. Oh shit, that explosion actually fucking hurt me. I need to kill now.
Game that turns your brain into a Sega Saturn ad? Kinda, yeah. Alright, what is this chest? What? I used it! It didn't work? Oh. Oh, hey! Chance to block incoming damage. That sounds useful. I'll also take that. Oh, shit. I hate ants. They're the worst enemy type. Fun. I, I, I recommend this game. If you guys want like a twitchy roguelike arena shooter, like this is a good game for it. Last one before the boss. Like the final boss of the run. Alright. 
Oh shit, it's King Skull. I like that! Oh fuck! Okay, okay, I gotta concentrate on this. I, I, like, I'm not doing bad damage to him, but like, I just got fucking chumped for a huge portion of my HP. So I guess a bad part about my build is that I need like additional enemies. Or else I don't do that much damage. Hey, there's that additional enemies. Oh, but it's a fucking ice skull. Get the fuck away from me, bro. Alright, ice skull has to die. Like, ASAP. Oh fuck, but where is he? Below half health. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I'm at 1 HP! No! No, 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 no. So fucking close. I'm gonna stick it with watermelon, I think. I like watermelon too. Alright, we're gonna try the new weapon. Dual pistols. Let's do a run of this. Oh wow, these do a lot of damage. It's less a roguelike and more a wave shooter, I guess, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you care about some man. You're right. Yeah, okay, I like, I like the dual pistols. This weapon type feels good. All right, what do we got here? Need to air that grievance? I see. Okay, this weapon feels really good.
damage though. I need to not do that. Alright, what's this thing? Oh, I gained crystals for losing health? Nah, not worth it. To reload a lot. I don't know if staying on this pier is a smart idea, but it means that all these enemies get funneled in. Oh fuck! Oh no 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 no! I gotta move! Oh no. What? Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, let's do another run. I like the dual pistols. Oh shit, I lose max health when taking damage? Uh oh. Alright, no more. Alright, I. They did say greed chest, so. I'm being greedy. You know, we just won't take damage, you know? It's okay, I just won't take damage. Oh, come on.
I've actually never done one of these, so... You know what? We can't take dam we can't take damage anyway, so I'm gonna do this one. Fuck me. Well, there goes my flawless. <laughs> and I'm, I took a hit. That means my max health is a little lower. Fuck. Alright, is there anything that increases my max health? Ah, oh, but I don't have the money for it! Fuck! Alright. Avenger. Oh, here we go. Max health increased after clearing each island. Easy, easy. Too much? I should be okay. Because after every island, every clear, I'll I'll have uh, more to be waiting for me. Glue shot. I don't like the fact that like I don't like the idea of having any, um... I don't like the idea of having a, like... I already forgot what I was gonna say. I don't like the idea of any, like, with, the, with this weapon, I don't like the idea of having anything damage over time. Like, I just want to hit things fast. Oh, fuck.
Oh my. Oh, I'm actually getting hit a lot. I'm actually gonna just die the normal way soon. Oh shit. Oh, thank god. I need help, badly. Wow, I'm getting so lucky! I'm not gonna risk it. That's fast. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Now I lose. I lose money when I take the damage! Okay. It's okay. We'll just be really good at the game. It's okay, we'll just... We'll just be really good at the game. I was about to say something so stupid. I mean, it's... It, it, it makes, you know, it's not too bad. But like, I thought about saying it, it's like, oh my god. The fact that I want to utter those words. Uh, I was gonna say the words, it's pretty good to be a gamer right now. Because <laughs> Street Fighter 6 is about to come out soon. A whole bunch of interesting games are about to come out soon. But it's true, I feel like... Like... Uh... AAA games are not, like... I have a lot... Maybe th this could be a, um... This could be a case of, like... Me getting older or, like, my taste changing. But, like, my... My need to play AAA games has is lower than it ever was. Like I, I'm like I want to play Street Fighter Six. Oh shit! I gotta be careful. Like I want to play Street Fighter Six, and that's really the only AAA game I can really think of um, that I want to play. Like you know, at all. There aren't a lot of other games that interest me right now. Like, it's got me thinking that, like, my favorite games, um, my favorite games are, like, my favorite games of the last, like, few years are either, like, very specific, like, they're AAA games, but they're from very specific studios that I trust. Like, you know, from software, Capcom, um, a few, like, but then there's also, but like, aside from that, and the list is small, too. Aside from that, it's like, I just want to play these smaller games. Like, Door Fortress? Like, I want to play Door Fortress, you know, like, it's been like, what, my favorite games that have been released so far is this game? Door Fortress? 
24 killers was also really fun. It's nice to just play these smaller games. I should play Door Fortress again too, uh, soon too. Like... Cause like, I... Ooh, do we do this chat? I'm not man enough. Ah, yeah! Damn it! Fuck! My greed got to the better of me. I wouldn't be too- I wouldn't be so quick to dismiss 24 killers. It's more like an RPG without the combat. It's like Moon or Ch uh It's like Moon or Tulip. This game actually requires concentration every once in a while. Thank you for the recommendation though. I would say try the game out. Or like take a look at it. It's don't don't just dismiss it because it says life sim. It's not really that. gonna say though but yeah like oh fuck okay never mind i'm gonna save my thoughts i gotta concentrate oh shit God. Uh, I really hope a shop comes next because I need help. Oh, thank God. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm not doing this again. How come these explode randomly? I didn't- I'm not doing that. Whatever.
Oh, I'll give me that. Oh, I'll give me that. But yeah, I, like, video, like, people who play video, like, people who make video games, they want you to think that they're so smart. They're not smart. In the West, especially. Less so in Asia. And I think the reason, and, you know, less so in Asia, but I think in the West, a lot of video games... They tend to, like, the video game industry, in my opinion, I think in the West, it's, like, modeling itself after, like, the movie industry. Yeah, have you guys noticed that? Like, the last 10 years, it's been, like, you know, they just want to, you know, they don't need to. I really don't think it needed to. It's, I, I feel like it's only hurt them. But they've modeled themselves after the film industry with, like, the way Marvel is doing things and shit like that. I think it's because nobody has good ideas. And I only- I, I think the only reason why Asia isn't doing it is because, you know, they're a little further away. They're a little more separated from, um, from Hollywood because, you know, they just- Hollywood is literally not, you know. The Asian film industry is a little different. And what the film- but what excites me is that the film industry now has realized once again, you know, they've, you know, time is cyclical and what they've re-realized is like, oh, like, it's kind of dumb to make everything into this giant blockbuster and then put all your eggs in these baskets. Or sorry, put all your eggs into this one basket of having like a super movie. Instead, we should have, we should just like, you know, we should make a few big movies, but then have a bunch of middle-sized movies. Like, mid- like... I think in the last two years, a bunch of mid- mid-budget movies have come out. And they're not like, you know, they're not these like giant blockbusters, but they also don't take as much money to make, and they get a few million dollars back for each of them, and it's like, ergo, you make a profit, right? So, I feel like the video game industry is on, like, a few years delay. I think, like... I think in, like, two years, two or three years, you're gonna see, like, it's the smaller studios have realized it, right? Uh, uh, the smaller studios have realized it. But a lot of the larger studios haven't yet, and I feel like eventually they're going to, uh... Eventually, they're going to... They're gonna, like, you know, figure out, like, Oh, we shouldn't spend millions of dollars on a game expecting, like, 70 millions of dollars in sales. We should just, like, make, like, a mid-sized game that is just good and, like, isn't that crazy to make. You know? Bounce around. Right, there we go. I have a much better build for dealing with bosses this time, so I, I feel good. Yeah, a lot of- yeah, you're either gonna see studios 
Yeah, you're gonna see both. Yeah, world brand. You hit the yeah, like well, what world? Uh, what world brand said is also true. Like you're gonna see studios, like, put more money into gobbling up indie studios, and they're not like, cause before what used to happen is like a big company would be like, before what what used to happen is it's like okay, like before what used to happen was, like. A studio would buy another studio, and it would be like class- it would be like, you know, what they would do, they would do what every other company would do, which is like, okay, your studio doesn't exist anymore. We're gonna absorb your workers as much as- we're gonna absorb all your IP, we're gonna absorb your company, your employees work for us, and anyone who we can't do that with, we're just gonna lay off. Valve? That's not- no, Valve doesn't do that. Valve- approaches indie devs and like just hires them straight up i'm talking about like ea like ea was notorious for that for the last few years you remember that ea would just be like hey your studio is big enough now we're just gonna buy you out and uh you won't exist anymore and we own all your ip um but like now i i now it's different right like now like Sony and Microsoft especially, they've been going around, they've been buying up studios, and what they do now is they go like, okay, we we own you, but here's funding, just make what you were going to make, but we, we get it. Which is honestly, it seems like a pretty sweet deal, if I'm not mistaken. I, I've heard some, I've, I've heard some pretty, like, I've heard that I, I can't vouch for Sony, but I've heard from the grapevine that Microsoft, at least, is, like, very lenient. Microsoft is very lenient uh, with their in, with the indie studios that they work with and they own. But, um, yeah, they either do that, or I think what you're going to see is, like, you're going to see the rise of, like, big studios... Choosing to make smaller scale games. Because like... I don't know. That that Star Wars game came out. Redfall came out. And like... Here are two games that have been hyped for so long. And it's like... These games are stinkers. Like... I'm not a video game journalist. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm just a consumer with opinions. But I look at these games. It's like... Dude, these games... Like... They're AAA games, and they don't look good. You know? I feel like... I, I feel like... I feel like... Uh, I feel like eventually... Like I said, I'm just a consumer. I'm on the, I'm on the other side of the spectrum. I, I just buy games and I play them. But, like, I look, at, I look at, the, at the landscape right now. It's like... Me and all my friends have fun playing games like Crab Champions. Like... You know? We're... we're you know, like... There's, there's, like, we're playing, like, if I, like, thinking about the crew, right? I think a bunch of us are playing, a few of us have bought Crab Champions or are playing it. A few of us have actually started playing Roblox. I know Lauren started playing Roblox. A few people, a few of us are getting into Path of Exile. Which is like, you know, they're doing good for themselves, but I would not say Path of Exile is like a AAA game. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not Diablo. It's, it's smaller, you know, they, it's a, it's very full of content because they've been working on it for so long. The game's old, but it is not like, you know, it's not Diablo in terms of scale or what they expect from it. So it's like, it's like, damn, you know, why can't you just like, instead of having one giant team making a game that takes like a decade to make why don't you just have, like, five smaller teams and make, like, a bunch of small games? Time is cyclical. What else is new? I'm gonna try this.
I'm like John Wick if John Wick was a crab. Hell yeah. I actually want... I actually want this. Oh, I did it. Got here. Wow, I can like clean house. Oh. Okay. Noir mouse. Uh Nor mouse. Wait, whoa. The audio? What's happening? Hello? Okay. I tapped out. I tapped out. So the game should be silent, but you can hear me. Game audio is fucked. Bulb sounds fine, though. So if I... Does it sound okay, or... Okay. I don't know what that was about. I'm sorry. I apologize for that chat. The, hey, Normouse, I want your genuine opinion on this. Because earlier you said that you were... You're planning to go into games journalism. Audio still fucked? Is it because I'm all tabbing? In general? Try refreshing the stream, chat. If the audio is delayed or messed up for you, try refreshing the stream. Uh. Anyway. Uh, what, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Noir Mouse. You said you were going to games journalism. This is an honest question for you. Do you feel... How do you feel about that? Like, knowing that, like, waypoint just got like vite like a lot of people were like oh my god waypoint is gone i can't believe that happened but it turns out vice is just going bankrupt vice is going straight up vice is just gone like they will be gone soon vice is going bankrupt and like paper magazine is gone and so it's like do you feel like by the time you are a full-fledged game journalist, you'll have, like... Yeah, because a lot of people were really sad, like, oh my god, how could they do that? Waypoint was such a good part of, uh, you know, was like, Waypoint was so good, but it turns out Vice is going bankrupt, yeah. Like, straight up. Vice is, from what I can tell... 
Vice, their entire strategy was, okay, Vice is going to, Vice is cool news for cool people. Please buy us. And then no one bought them. And no one did buy them and now they're bankrupt. So, like, I don't know. Do, do, does that like... Yeah, these are trying times. I want to get into that sort of medium because I like promoting weird little indie games I find. I wouldn't call that games journalism, though. Sounds more like you want to go into the business of promoting things. Right? Because promoting something and doing journalism is different. And if anything, it's the opposite. Because if you're a journalist, you have to be very impartial. You can't play favorites if you're a journalist. You're not allowed to play favorites. You're supposed to be an arbiter to some degree. But if you find indie games that you like and you want to promote them, it sounds like you want to get into the business of promoting things. Which is closer to maybe like marketing or like... I don't know. The reason why I asked you is because you said you wanted to go into games journalism and I was I was thinking like wow you're a very brave soul with the news that's been happening right now. I don't think games journalism is like dead forever. I don't I don't I don't think it's on the way out, but I do think it's gonna have to like transform into something different. Like Jeff Gershman is like Jeff Gershman left Giant Bomb and he's just doing his own thing now. Like he has a, he's kind of like a rogue reporter, kind of. He's, he has a Patreon and, and like, if you watch his, if you listen to his podcast, he like, he still, he, he is, he does game journalism. Like he's reporting on games, but he's kind of like independent. He's going solo. He has a Patreon and like, you know. He's just reporting on games, he's talking about the industry, he's like interviewing people. It's honestly really cool. I feel like that's... I feel like that's a good route to take. But the problem is, is that like, Jeff Gershman has been a journalist for like more than a decade, right? Like he... He, he can do this because he has the connections. So if you're just starting out, where are you gonna get these connections from, you know? That's the, that's the thing I'm like... Yeah, exactly. I mean... Where's this last end? Where the fuck is this last end? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Where the fuck is this guy? Uh oh, is it bugged? Here, how about I stop moving and wait for it to come to me? Oh man, my build is so good! I don't want to have the run end because of a glitch. Dude, this sucks. This kind of sucks. Uh-oh. Alright. It's okay. We'll find the enemy. I didn't get the chest. game I'm more mad at like the circumstance of like 
It had to bug out now. Oh, come on. That would be so lame. Oh shit, that... Wow, I think my run ends here. Okay. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. Ah, and that left a bad taste in my mouth. I kind of don't want to continue after that. I'm not gonna fault the game. The game is early access, anyways. Like the game technically isn't done. It's it's in it's an op it's an early beta. But like, damn, wow. That that was not fair. That was not fair. I had I was like that that was a run where I was gonna like win. Ugh. What, what, was, what was I going to say before, though? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, like, okay, someone earlier said, like, oh, but Jeff Gershman can 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 be independent because uh, he has a really big fan base and has a lot of people uh, on his Patreon. Well, there's a chicken and an egg situation there, which is J Jeff Gershman has fans because he's a good journalist in the games industry and he has the has those connections like this is a guy that was able to interview Phil Spencer and ask him and look him in the eye and ask him what is it going to take for AAA developers to not ship broken piece of shit games he used nicer words than me but that's essentially what he asked him like that's why people like Jeff and you don't get connections and and that's the thing right where it's like Yes, being an independent journalist sounds really good, but you're right in that you won't have a fan base when you start out. You know? And the problem with that is, like, ideally what you would do is you would work for a company first, you would get your connections there, right? You would get your connections there. And then, if you so choose, you can become independent by, and then you, you know, your connections don't belong to the company, they belong to you. Right? So it's like, so it's like, you know, it's, it's a real catch-22 where it's like, if games journalism is taking a hit and there's no place for new journal games journalists to find work, then there's no opportunities for them to spread their wings, but then if you don't if you don't have that already, then no one's gonna subscribe to a Patreon. You know, no one's no one's gonna like be a, no one's gonna like read your stuff if you don't have anything interesting to say because you can't interview interesting people. It, it's it's so bad. But hopefully things get better. I think, I think right now things are transforming. I think that's I think that's what it is because like. I think there is an appetite for journalism. I think there is absolutely still an appetite for it. But I think right now we're going through one of those periods where like the old models aren't working anymore and people have to figure out what does work. Penny, I, you have to understand that, like, when, like, okay. So you said, like, okay, he's been letting a lot, he's been letting a lot of, like, bosses that he's interviewed on his podcast spout anti-worker sentiment. You're a journalist. You gotta be, like, okay, like, you, you have to, like, 
this is why not everyone wants to be a journalist. You have to be an arbiter. Like you have, like you're there to interview that person for those specific, like for for certain reasons, right? I think I know exact. I've watched a few of those interviews. Like to be a journalist to some degree, you know, if you're reporting on those anti-worker sentiments, then yes. But he is asking them about like. They won't go on to be interviewed if they let the journalist shit on them. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, that's the that's the, the, the balance you have to take. And it's not just games journalism. It's like, you know, can you imagine being, like, a journalist and, and like, y you know what I mean? Like, imagine if you're a journalist. Imagine if you're, like, a political reporter and you get hired and they're like, hey... You're going to the Trump rally and you have to sit there and you have to watch the Trump rally and you have to tell us what he said. Right? Because you're it's your job to be the arbiter. You're not there to you know, not right now. You're not, you know, like so yeah, I get what you're saying, but like he is being a good journalist by letting them talk. And like Is access really worth it at that point, though? Like, at what- at that point, you're just letting those views circulate freely? You... have to know where the line is drawn. Because he's not letting- no, you're- you're- Like, I get what you're saying, but like... I don't know. You- if you're a journalist, you have to assume that you live in a world where people can look at something and make their own judgments about what you're showing them. You know? I, 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 I'm not articulate enough to, like, talk about this, I feel like. But, like, yeah, you're right. But, like, you have, like, how do I word this? Would you, I don't know. Yeah, first things first, you're like, you know. I think you're comparing apples and oranges. And second of all, I think, like, to be a journalist, to some degree, you have to just present things as they are. And you have to let the reader, like, see. And read it. You know? I don't know. See, that's exactly what I mean. Not everyone wants to be a journalist. I think what what I was going to say was I get like there is a weird new route. And I've been seeing more people do this as of late. There is this new weird route where you can start off as a content creator and kind of like pivot into something more akin to a journalist. I've been seeing more and more of it now. I've been seeing clips. They're um, one of the Smosh guys. I don't know their fucking name. But one of the Smosh guys. So Smosh doesn't exist anymore. They split up. But one of the Smosh guys. He's been doing these kind of like long form interviews. With different streamers. And it's like. it's The, the interviews are not funny. The, the interviews are not funny. They're not, like, it's not like, what was it like playing, what is it like being the biggest Apex Legend streamer? It's like, it's not like that. It, it honestly reminds me of, um, it, like, reminds me of, like, Barbara Walters interviews. You know what I mean? Where, like, where it's like, you know, these streamers have something to say about their experiences of like being streamers and like working in this kind of like new burgeoning industry and so he's been having these like sit down interviews and he's been having these streamers talk about like really sensitive really like important topics that i like 
I haven't seen anyone really do. So I feel like there's this kind of like new route. Like there's this kind of like new route where you can start off by being like a content creator kind of person and then pivot to journalism. But the problem with that is um they don't go to school for it. Like to be a good journalist, you have to go to like school for it and you have to work with other journalists like i said you have to like be trained almost and like learn to spread your wings and i'm not gonna lie i really do not trust content creators to be good journalists because going back to what you guys were saying earlier those are the people that are not going to be good arbiters they are not going to be good arbiters they are not going to be impartial they are you know like content creators i do not trust them to not have an agenda you know, so while, you know, from, you know, th th this is just my opinion, but it's like, it's starting to look like that is like a viable thing to do. Like you get big first for doing something else. And then if you want people to take you more seriously, you can kind of like do these like different projects where you can be a journalist. But again, I do have no trust, no trust whatsoever. You have to be neutral, but you can also let someone spout off enough rope to hang themselves, but it's up to the viewer to see that rope. Yeah, exactly. You know? What do you think my agenda is? I don't know. It, uh... It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Life's weird right now. I had to ask. I mean, you said it yourself. You want to see you want you want good indie games to get the recognition they deserve. So in like in that sense, you just want to like it's not too bad. I don't know. It's it's weird right now. I don't really see a way forward if I if like I I see a way forward, but I don't know if it's going to make things better or not in terms of like uh it in, in terms of like a video game journalism and stuff like that. Anywho. That's that this conversation took a weird turn. We were playing Crab Champions earlier and it somehow got me it somehow got me into thinking about like thinking about all this stuff. Anywho. Uh how long have I been streaming for? Almost four and a half hours. I just tuned in and got an ad for the Marines. Where's I got a button for this. I feel like I feel like the army and the Marines have been advertising. When I, oh my god, when I used to come home and watch cartoons after school, I would see ads for the army and the Marines straight up. I was not wanting to derail this convo with that comment. Sorry if it bothered you. I don't know. I don't care. Are you talking about asking what your agenda is? Or are you talking about ask? Or are you talking about like this pivot to like? Uh, are you or are you asking about this pivot to like talking about games journalism? Because I I really don't care either way. The U.S. Army Twitch channel. Yeah, I know. I remember that shit. That shit was funny. Why did they think that would work? Anywho. Uh, yeah. I can sit here and I can talk about it, but I'm not an expert on the issue. And at the end of the day, I'm just a dumb guy that play, likes video games and stuff. I, like I said, I genuinely think there is a, there, there is an appetite for that journalism. 
Like, I'm not... Like, I see a lot of doom and gloom. Like, I... I, I the last thing I'll say is... I see a lot of doom and gloom in regards to games journalism right now because a lot of places are getting shuttered and like you know it's not looking too hot right with waypoint gone and stuff like that but here's why i think it will get better gamers are only getting older right like you know people are only like there are only more, like, video games as a entertainment medium is only getting more and more popular. Like, when I was a kid, like, everyone played Halo and Madden, but then if you played, like, Legend of Zelda, you were a nerd. And, you know, not everyone was a nerd. And now I feel like a lot of, a lot more people play video games now you know, then, you know, there are more 18 year olds playing video games now than I was, than there were when I was 18. Does that make sense? So there's like, th th this, this entertainment medium is only going, is only getting more popular. And the, 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 like, the people are only getting older. And something that I realized as I've gotten older is I actually care more about the about good journalism in regards to the to to one of my hobbies, basically, right? Like when I was a kid, all I cared about was whether the game was good or not. Like, tell me if the game's good or not. That's it. I don't give a fuck. Is it a good game or bad game? I'm gonna turn on X Play and tell <laughs> let X Play tell me if this game's good or bad. God, what a bad idea. What a mistake. But I feel like as bad as it is now, I don't think it'll be bad forever. Because I think as time goes on, only there are only going to be more people who, like, care about, about this. And that means more readers. And that means more people who demand journalism for, for games. I'm old as shit, and when the first Top Gun came out, they had recruiters outside the theater. The sign of people coming out of the theater were high. Oh my god! That's- I didn't even realize they did that. That sounds insidious. Video games are in a weird spot as a medium that never existed outside of capitalism. Yeah. I would say all video games are art, just not all good art. I mean, to me, it's like film. Think about, think about how many stinkers there are when it comes to movies, right? But I, but yeah. All right, I'm getting kind of tired, and I got a few other things to do to, today. So I think I'm gonna wrap up there. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you haven't noticed, um, this May, um. I am, so if you haven't noticed, I am a part of Twitch's, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm a part of Twitch's, like, AAPI Celebration Month. So, if you, if you go to the front page of Twitch, and you scroll down a little, you'll see me. You'll see me, uh, you'll see me in that category, in that little shelf there. So, uh... That being said, I'm way busier than I was last year. So don't expect too many crazy things this month for me, unfortunately. But I'm still going to be streaming as planned. So I might do some special things. I might just stream as normal. We'll see. But regardless, thank you for tuning in. And thank you for, like... Thank you for, like, watching. No bucket challenge. We'll see. We'll see. But regardless, thank you for tuning in. Um... Yeah, I... I don't know how much crazy shit I'm going to be able to do. Like I said, like, I am busier now, this, now than I was last year. Last year, all I did was stream. So I, like, could just go hog wild with it. But I think this year I am working on a 
bunch of more different things, so it might be a little reserved this year, unfortunately. But I think we'll be okay. And it'll probably be easier for me, too. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Thank you for keeping the company. I hope you had a good day.